Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of decomposing fractions. This is standard 4.3a in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 34 off the 2019 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we need to find an expression that is equal or equivalent, you see that word equal kind of inside that word equivalent, to 9 eighths. And we get a whole bunch of fractions that we need to add together. So let's just draw 9 eighths to see if we can at least just put eyeballs on it. And then we'll go ahead and add some of these fractions and we'll see what we can find. So 9 eighths, I'm going to take a rectangle cut it in half vertically and horizontally, that gives me fourths. And I'm going to, since it's a rectangle, I'm going to cut it again, each of the halves in half, and that's going to give me eighths. So I've got eight sections here. So if I wanted to do nine eighths, that'd be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you notice I filled up this entire thing and I've only got eight eighths done. So 9 eighths is actually an improper fraction. So what we need to do, if we really want to get our 9 eighths to be represented here, what we do is we draw another box, and we do that one right there. So there's my 8 eighths. There's my 1 eighth. Put those together, and that is 9 eighths. Or you can say I've got one whole, because I've got one whole box, and then 1 eighth extra. So oh. Those are all different ways to represent this term. So you notice when I was able to add the 8 eighths and the 9 eighths, what we had to always make sure is that we're dealing with the same denominator. So we're dealing with eighths all the way across. And so if we were to take f, 3 eighths plus 3 eighths. Well, let me draw, I'm going to just draw f right here. And I'm going to just draw a box. There's my eighths, and if I did one, two, uh, there's my three eighths on top, and I'll just mirror that down below. I've got three eighths down there. As you can see, I've only got one, two, three, four, five, six eighths. So three eighths plus three eighths, that just makes six eighths, so not quite enough. You notice what we're doing here is we're just adding the numerator. 3 plus 3 makes 6. The denominator stays the same. You don't add the denominator because that just tells you how many pieces the rectangle is cut up into. Now, the key here is we need to have the same denominator. You notice that on the first two, we're dealing all with eighths. So that's where we're going to have a problem with g. I'm not even going to bother adding g because take a look at it. We've got a half in there. So you can't just add a half with a third and a third. You need to have that denominator to be equivalent all the way across. And that's, that's what's tricky about this, because if you add up 1 and 2, that makes 3. Add up the 6, you get 9. But it's wrong on two different counts. Number 1, the denominators are all different. Number 2, none of them are even 8. I guess they say 2 and 3 and 3 add up to 8, but that's just kind of weird. That's not how we add h and j could work. And so if I wanted to add up my ninths, I'm not very good at drawing ninths. So let's see if we can just draw this one without, or add this one without drawing. So the answer is going to be ninths, because take a look. You got ninths all the way across your denominators, which is good. Keep a constant denominator, so we're dealing with ninths. Let's see how many ninths we've got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I've got eight ninths, almost a whole. Unfortunately, they flipped it. I need nine eighths. So that is not going to be it. So let us hope J is our answer. We've got eights all the way across the bottom. So that's good. I'll put that right here. Let's count how many eights. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We've got nine eighths which is exactly what we're looking for. That's going to be this right here. So our answer is J.